Okay, welcome back, baseball fans. Um, we're gonna do a little bit different video today. I'm going to um, show everybody <clears throat> how I set up um, my lineups and roster for a replay month. So I'm doing the steroid error replay um, where the goal is I'm gonna replay every game of every season of baseball steroid error from 1970, 1987 through 2003. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, I may not live to see it through, but um, that's what we're uh, shooting towards. Um, the fun is in the journey with these games, so I uh, figured that out after a while ago. Um, I already completed several full league replays, so uh, that's not a goal of mine. My goal of mine is to have as much fun as I can with this stuff and whatever available hours I have for this hobby. So uh, off work today, uh, so I'll be going back to work Monday. Um, so got a lot of time here. So what I'm setting up here is uh, I'm just starting the month of June in the 1993 American League replay. Um, so uh, one of the first series here is between the uh, Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. Um, so what I try to do, I do not use actual lineups or rosters, um, but I do um, put players on with their original team so if they were traded then uh they play they get their at bats for the first team then they get their car gets moved over to the envelope of the, the second team so uh what i'm doing right now is i'm just setting up this indians yankee series uh so as uh, you could see i have their lineup um i can tell you be honest i'm not really sure if i've done this already yet for this team because uh, it was a while ago when i stopped this I don't think I have, but uh, this will be a good um, demonstration. So this was the lineup I had at the end of May. Um, so what I'm trying to do with these replays, I try to get all these players within um, uh, 10 at-bats of their actual. That's kind of like my stock goal of replays is if I can get the player within 10 at-bats of their actual at-bats. Like I said, I don't use actual lineups. Um, I, I pick all my own lineups. I set... My, and what I do is I set my lineup for the whole month of games. Um, so this then won't change hardly at all um, during the uh, month I'm playing. So I'm not like shuffling players in and out of lineups. So I have every player carded here for 1993. So uh, what I did first was I went through and I picked out all the batters who had less than 75 at bats for this team. That was like Lewis, Levis, Parrish, and Sam Horn. And I put them aside, so I'm not really too concerned about them right now. Uh, they may fill in if I run out of at-bats during later in the year, but for now I'm just focused on the guys who have like 75 or more at-bats. So that would be uh, Ortiz, Milligan, Jefferson, Tomei, Treadway, Maldonado, and Espinoza. Um, so then I have the players... Here also have all over 75 at bats. These were all the starters last month. Okay, so um, what I do first is I go to the uh, stats I have and I just go down and see. So um, usually a player will get 100 at bats in a month of replay time. Um, so, and what I try to do is if a player had 150 or more games, I keep them in the lineup the whole. Uh, season and I let the J factors so when injuries come up during the games I let the J factors determine um, the injury and like how much they sit so I don't intentionally bench um, these 150 plus guys so on like Indians lineup that would be Bayarga, Albert Bell um, let's see okay Ramirez he's got to come out again he had 53 at bats he's got to go in that pal um, Sorrento, he had under 48, so he, he just misses the cut. Okay, everybody else is over 75. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, um, so Lofton, for example, he has 569 at bat, so he could probably sit like a half a month, maybe, at some point during the year, um, and probably play somebody else. So... Let's go through their stats and see how much they've played so far and if, they, if we should sit them or not. So we have Kenny Lofton. I'm looking at his at-bats. He's at 226 at-bats. 
Uh, so he's played uh, pretty much every game in the first two months. So I'm just gonna still gonna keep him in there for the first half. I might rest him in like August or something. So he'll stay in and play center. So the next player is Wayne Kirby. You know, he had 458 at bats. Um, and then the replay, he's got 51. So um, that means Wayne Kirby needs about 400 more at bats in this replay. And now there's only how many more months? We have uh, June, July, August. So there's only four months. So Wayne Kirby's got to play every day the rest of these games the year. So he must have sat for one of my first couple months of this replay. Okay, by Argar, we know we're keeping him in there. Uh, Albert Bell, we know we're keeping him. So we have our um, we have three outfielders there. So of course it's a DH. So we'll see how that works out. Um, Paul Sorrento. So Paul Sorrento had uh, 195 at bats so far, and he had 463. So he could possibly sit. So we'll take him out. We might see. We might sit him. So he has some time to sit. Uh, Carlos Martinez. Carlos Martinez had 100, has 113 bats in the replay so far. He's batting 301. Three home runs. So not too bad. Uh, he's, he's overachieving. His card's 244. So uh, he has about 100 more at bats to go. So he's another potential sitting candidate. So we'll put him off to the side here. Uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. Um, Sandy Alomar Jr. always does well in my replays. So he's a pretty good catcher. Uh, 270. So in a replay, looks like he's batting 245. He has five home runs, 110 at bats. Pretty good projection, like 30 home runs. So Alomar, um, he had 215 at bats on the season, and he, in the replay, he's got 110 already. So he's only got 100 and some at bats left in the replay. So I'm going to pull him out. I'm going to probably put somebody else in there. All right, Felix Fermin. Um, so he's got 186 at bats. So. Let's see, he could possibly sit. So let's pull him out. So these are the guys we definitely have in here. And let's go through and see who we wanna put into these positions. So let's go to our backups here. So let's put in a backup catcher, just to start. So 249 uh, at bat, Junior Ortiz. We'll play him in the month of June. He's gonna get and let's see how many at-bats he's had so far. He's had 81 at-bats. Okay, so he needs some A-Bs. Um, let's go through Espinoza, Alomar Martinez. Okay, here we go. We got a guy like uh, Randy Milligan. Now, he doesn't come over to Cleveland until later in the year. So we're going to put him over to the side. He's one of those traded players that comes over. As well as uh, Maldonado is one of those traded players that comes over. So we'll put him over to the side. All right, so let's look and see who we have left over now. Reggie Jefferson. Um, let's see. He's had no at-bats so far in a replay. So he really needs some A-Bs. So we're going to put him, plop him right in number five hole. Probably like a DH position there for uh, Reggie Jefferson. Uh, let's see, Tome, Jim Tome. Okay, this is a young Jim Tome. So he had 154 at bats in the regular season. He has none in the replay. So since we sat, um, we're going to probably put him in here just to get him uh, like at least 100 of his at bats. We'll put him in for the month of June. Here we go, Jeff Treadway. We need an in shortstop. Let's see, he could play third. Hmm. So Treadway and Tome. So we're going to stick with Tome instead of Treadway. And let's see. We'll probably put a Sorrento back in there. And then we'll put Espinoza. Let's check his ABs again. 87 at bat. So yeah, we'll play Espinoza shortstop. Okay, we didn't miss anybody. Everybody looks good. So. Uh, we'll let these guys be our, um, now looking at our bench for the month, we want to have like a mix of, uh, have every position covered in a game. So 
So I got, so I put Treadway and Fermine in there. I got the second, third, and shortstop covered in a backup spot. Um, I keep Martinez in there, and the first base will be covered. And there's our backup catcher. So I probably want to get um, like a backup outfielder or two. So it'd be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That'll give me a spot for 12 pitchers. So let's pick a good uh, backup outfielder. I don't think I have any left, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think I got all my outfielders in there. Yeah, Sorrento can play outfield if we have to. So, for example, if someone gets, one of the outfielders gets hurt, I can always put Sorrento out to the outfield position and then put, like, Carlos Martinez in at first base. So we're covered there. Okay, so let's look at, um, actually, no, I do have backup outfielders. There's uh, under 75 at back guys. So Manny Ramirez, that's another young card. He's in at 53 at bats. Uh, let's see, he's 38 at bats. So let's put um, Mandy Milligan needs some at bats here. Well, he's one of those guys that comes over later. So let's put Ramirez in on the bench there as well. So it'll be five plus nine is 14. So we have 11 pitchers. Well, let's we'd like to go with 12 pitchers. So we'll put him on the uh, down in the farm team. All right, so we'll go with these nine and these four bench guys for the month of June for the 93 Cleveland Indians. Okay, let's put it like that. Now let's look at the pitching. Um, so how I do the pick the pitchers for the month is I have the app, the roster, the daily schedule with the pitchers. As you can see, the pink dot games were, uh, I did the 93 nationally about 10 years ago. Um, so you'll, those are the National League games. So the ones that are white that haven't been played are the um, American League games. So uh, what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to go through and look and see how the, what the Cleveland um, rotation looked like for June. So they started with uh, Jose Mesa. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so they begin with uh, Jose Mesa. So let's find him. So Jose Mesa goes from a starter to a Senor Slam reliever, you know, 95 on that famous 95 Indians team. Where's Jose Mesa? He should be back. Here he is. So Joe Table, DZ pitcher. So he's the number one starter. Uh, let's go to June 2nd. So then, then then go to Matt Young. He's a lefty. I remember he played for uh, the Red Sox. So that's like their number two starter. Uh, then we're going to go to uh, June 3rd, June 4th, Cleveland. Let's go through their schedule. Uh, then they go to Matt, Mike Bilecki. I remember he used to play for the Pirates. So he's another D. So they're looking too good. Right at that gate, they're going DZ, DXW, DZ. Okay, next we're going to go to, uh, they go touchdown Tommy Kramer. Touchdown Tommy Kramer. C, oh, they get a little bit of relief there. So Kramer's there. Uh, next we're going to go to, we're on June 6th, uh, Dennis Cook is the next starter. There we go, Dennis Cook. Uh, then we're going to go to, all right, that would be, then we're back to Jose Mesa. Then they go to Bilecki. I'm just looking for a guy that any changes in this rotation. Then we're going to Kramer, touchdown Tommy. Then we go to Cook. Okay, we're just going through the month. Uh, Jose Mesa, uh, Bilecki. All right, then then June fifteenth, Paul Abbott enters the rotation. Let's find Paul Abbott. So maybe we'll use him as like a swing man before he gets into the uh, rotation. Well, he um he any started games. So he had five starts, DRW, um, five starts, but he that's all he did was start games. Um, so I'm gonna just put him there, but I'm gonna like probably not 
include him in the beginning part of the month just to not waste a, a spot. Okay, let's go to next. I'm looking for swingmen. Next, they went with touched on Tommy Kramer. Uh, we're on June 17th. Dennis Cook. Then it goes to Jose Mesa again. Uh, then we got Mark Clark enters rotation on June 19th. Let's grab Mark Clark. And remember, I do this at the begin after I complete a month of a replay. I at the first game of the month the next month I do this once for every team but I don't do this the whole season so once I set the rotation and the bench and the starters it's just rolling games at that point all right so Paul Abbott we got Paul Abbott and we got touched on Tommy uh, then we're looking at Cliff Young hmm Cliff Young and there's rotate. He's a, another DZ. They're having a party of D's here, except for touchdown Tommy. And he's a swing man, so he'll actually stay in there. I'm gonna put Abbott over just to the side here. So Cliff Young's in there. Alright, then we're gonna go to we're up to June 23rd, almost done with the month. All right, then we're gonna go to Mark Clark, who I forgot to get. Let's grab Mark Clark. Mark Clark. There we go, another DZ. Wow, they are hurting the 93 Indians. They're not good yet. Even though they've got like Bell, Tome, Ramirez, Lofton, Bayard on this team, they are not the 90s Indians that you know of yet all right so let's go to let's see do we miss anybody the clark is in there he's a swing man too so like young he could stay in the rotation stay on the team to start the month so he'll probably young and clark will be in the bull in the bullpen to start the month then they'll come in and start later on in the month Okay, Mesa, I think that's everybody. Okay, so that's gonna be our, um, so remember we had how many players here? We had nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're gonna have 12 pitchers and we're gonna put, remember we're gonna put Abbott, we're not gonna put him in until later on in the month. So nine, 10, 12 pitchers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna have five star reliever guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through here and I know I have to have, to have a, there's a couple guys that start with Cleveland and then go to uh, other teams. And I gotta get those guys in first here. That's gonna be uh, Ted Power. And Kevin Wickander, I think. And wherever he is, Kevin Wickander. I think I might have moved him already. No, he's right here. Okay, so before we look at those guys, I'm going to um, check their stats. So let's go to Ted Power first. Okay, so he's pitched 19 innings. All right, so he's ready to actually get traded to Seattle because he only had 19 innings, 20 innings for... So Ted Powers, he just showed up in one of ID's games uh, not too long ago, and he had to switch from Seattle to Cleveland during his game. So in this video, he's going from Cleveland back to Seattle. So put Ted Power over there, and we'll put him in the Seattle envelope. Uh, Kevin Wakander, let's see how his innings. So he needed to get uh, nine innings with Cleveland. Then he's going to get traded to Cincinnati. Let's go to find Kevin Wakander. And the trusty ball stat says he pitched eight innings so far. So he's done. So he's going over to Cincinnati's envelope. So those two guys are done. So now we can grab the pitchers. And we're looking for star relievers. Now, I'm kind of uh, looking for the 
guys with the highest innings here. And none of these little small fry guys. None, none of the straight starters, since we know who the starters are going to be for the month already. So none of these like guys like Tavares with like eight games, seven starts. Like I'm not worried about him for the month of June. Um, got like Mike Christopher, maybe. He's got 12. Eh. I'm looking for the high inning reliever guy. So like C Star Slocum, 30 innings. He'll stay in there. Derek Lilliquist, 64 innings. He'll go in there. He's an A. He's finding a little bit of it. Decent pitching there. Slocum is a zero. Now, Liquid said 10 saves. We'll put, um, well, you got two Heathcliff Slocum cars there. Interesting. Wow, it's almost like football where they give you like two cars. We'll put one of them aside. Uh, Bill Wirtz. I almost said Vic Wirtz. 60 innings and 34 games. So he's definitely a valuable long guy because you'll definitely need the long relievers with this kind of pitching staff getting bombed probably uh jeff munis we'll keep him on jerry depoto's are uh a y closer 11 saves keep him in there then we got jeremy hernandez look at this guy 112 innings 70 so he's another long reliever eating a lot of innings at the q1 B star Y Z. You'll definitely he will definitely come in handy with this team. Eric Plunk's 15 saves, so he's actually their closer. A star X Y. And then Nagy will be in the farm. Okay, we're almost set here. So we gotta narrow this down to 12 players or 12 pitchers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one of these guys has to go. Um, so let's do, hmm, one of these guys got to go. So let's take, uh, hmm, we well, had 14 relief appearances and he had 11. So we'll put Mark Clark to the side here temp till he shows up in rotation. So that'll give us our 12 pitchers for the month. One, so we go Mesa Young, Bilecki, Kramer, Cook will be their starters. Um, then we're going to have the bullpen of uh, Cliff Young, Heath Slocum, Lilliquist, Wirtz, Depoto, Hernandez, Plunk. So we have two A's in our bullpen, two B's. Actually, three A's in the bullpen with two B's, but is that going to be uh, good enough to clean up the mess these starters um, create. So we'll see. Um, the Indians haven't done too poorly um, in the project uh, so far. They're actually pretty close to uh, 500. Let's see where they're at standings wise. Let's see, I just posted it on the Delphi boards. Amazing things. I'm still using this laptop from 2008. It was my. It was a real nice laptop in 2008, but <coughs> it's got Windows 10 loaded on it, and it still works fine with this stuff I do for Apple. Excuse me. I get a drink before I check the Indians' record here. Okay, Indians, Cleveland Indians are 27 wins, 24 losses. Team batting average 270, ERA 479. They're only one, um, three games out. Uh, 93 Blue Jays lead the division. They're a half game in front of the Tigers and the Orioles. Yankees are one back. Indians are only three back. Red Sox are four back. Brewers are five and a half back. So, there we are. That's how I, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this for the um, Yankees now. And uh, that's how I set up the um, rosters and lineups for my replays in this steroid era project. And I do this all right at the beginning of every month. So uh, we are all set. So I'll take, like I got these cards here and I have the bench guys here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, well, during, during the game, I'm going to park the farm guys in the uh, Apple envelope here. Kind of keep it shut and put it to the side. And when I play the game, I'm going to put Mesa out here. So I know he's starting the first game. I'll put it on my laptop and then we're just going to start rolling. So hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a little side video. I may come on a little bit later today. Like I said, a vacation uh, right now. I might uh, do a little uh, jump in the season ticket uh, baseball um, bonanza. It's been going on with our friends of the channel and uh, roll a season ticket game a little bit later this afternoon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.